Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Sifted Tyler Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today I wanted to give you a little think piece. Something I was thinking about, you know, while driving yesterday, and I um, kind of wanted to say it while it was on my mind, but the rest of my um, passengers were asleep, so I couldn't get anybody to record me while I was driving. But uh, I'm giving it to you now, I'm trying to remember, you know, all my thoughts from then, but um, here goes. Deshaun Watson got guaranteed money from the Cleveland Browns, which really tried to start a trend for other QBs getting paid after him to get guaranteed money, like fully guaranteed. Um, Watson didn't. Get, Watson got fully guaranteed. Kyler Murray got a, a, a boatload. Russell Wilson got a boatload. And so I really want to, you know, focus in on Wilson and Kyler Murray because I was talking to my wife about it. And um, I was telling her how, you know, as soon as Deshaun, Jackson, Deshaun Watson was available, he had to play, no matter how good Brissett was playing. And then we was talking about Russell Wilson, and I was like, you know, no matter how bad Russ is playing, he's going to play because he has so they have so much money tied into him. So no matter how bad he's playing, he's still going to play. And, you know, it came to a head because watching, um, same thing with Kyler Murray. It came to a head yesterday when I found out about the Broncos coach being fired. I had just told her that because they have so much money tied into these quarterbacks, if stuff don't go right, the head coach is going to suffer. And that happened in Denver. Now, I don't know about his play calling or his situational um, coaching or none of that stuff. All I know is the game that they played against the Ravens. That defense was pretty darn good. Their defense is pretty darn good. Offensively, Russ stinks right now. Traditionally, Russ don't stink, but right now, Russ stinks. And because they have so much money tied up into his contract, the head coach has to go because they're not going to cut Russ because they still owe him all that money. So all they're going to do is just let him play. Hopefully, he'll find that form that made him um, the Russell Wilson we all know because, honestly, in Russ's defense, this is not the norm. I don't know if it's the scheme. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Russ. But because he has that guaranteed money, that 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 guaranteed moolah, that cheddar, that guap, somebody got to go, and it ain't gonna be Russ. Same thing down in Arizona, and I understand, you know, from watching Hard Knocks, Arizona have a ton of injuries. And Cliff may may get another shot because they got so many injuries. He may get another shot because they got so many injuries. But it ain't looking good for him. Kyler ain't going nowhere because Kyler got all that guaranteed money. So with that being with that being said and that being noticed, brings us back to Lamar. When Lamar gets his contract, um, hopefully it'll be for Baltimore. I'm sure it'll have a, a boatload of guaranteed money. Then, and only then, may you see something happen with John. Because the money's going to be tied up into the quarterback. And then if something goes wrong, the head coach will be the first to go. But will that happen for our QB? We don't know. I hope so. To the fact that, you know, I was worried about my Lamar Jackson jersey being a great investment. So what I did, I got a Jersey with my favorite number, which is nine, and my own last name on the back. So, you know, just in case Lamar does not finish his career in Baltimore, I do have a jersey I can wear when I don't have to worry about nobody being traded. <laughs> so, um, that's really the most of the thoughts I had yesterday while driving. Um, wanted to get that out and get it to you before I got the film out. Um, finna start watching the film now and go from there. And I'll see you guys soon, man. I appreciate you guys. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Uh, Happy New Year to those that's coming up. And um, I'll see y'all soon, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me in 2022. Um, Didn't hit the goal I thought I was going to hit. 
uh, sub wise, but hey, we're gonna run that thing back for 2023. So I appreciate you guys, man. I like, comment, subscribe. See you soon. Peace.